Hi, Mr. Lee, it's Simone. I love your daughter, Suni, so much, and I know how much she loves you. You have done so much for her, so I reached out to my friends at the Today Show to see if we could do something special for you. Hope you like it. Simone Biles is giving back to her gymnastics family. The Olympian surprise teammate and fellow gold medalist Suni Lee's father with a heartfelt gift. The Today Show helped Simone present John Lee with a brand new electric wheelchair this week and his reaction to the heartfelt gesture was priceless. Oh my God. This is a souped up electric chair. Now you don't need me to push you anymore. Is this Lucky? Yes. That's Lucky. This is your driver, Lucky. Oh wow. wow. This is going to be fitted special for you. This is not quite ready for you just yet, but you're welcome to try it out if you would like. Yeah. John was paralyzed from the chest down after falling off a ladder in 2019, just two days before SUNY competed in the World Championships. He supported his daughter's Olympic dream from the beginning, even building a balance beam in their backyard when they couldn't afford to buy one. SUNY became the first Hmong American gymnast to compete in the Olympics and the first Asian American woman to win gold in the all-around. Hundreds of people in the Hmong community joined SUNY's family in Minnesota to watch her Tokyo Games performance thanks to an invite from John. And the Auburn University freshman found a special way to thank her beloved dad for all his effort and sacrifice, draping her gold medal around his neck when they reunited after her history-making wins. SUNY's family may not have been able to cheer on her Olympics victory in person, but they were there with her in spirit the entire time. In Tokyo, the 18-year-old told Access Hollywood Scott Evans why it was so important to her to dedicate her medals to her dad. He's going through, like anything that he's going through is way worse than I'm going through. Like he can't walk, he's paralyzed and it's like I have to do this for him because I'm able to walk and I want to live out my dreams because the Olympics has been both of our dreams. So. I'm really living out both of our dreams and it's just, it honestly makes me kind of emotional because like he's my best friend and it's just hard to not have him here because I remember him telling me when we were younger that like when I made the Olympics he wanted to come down on the floor and do backflip with me so it just sucks that he can't be here and I just wish that they were. It's, <laughs> it's, I'm going to tell you what I think about when you talk about your dad. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna fight getting emotional. <laughs> Real, no, straight up. Then I'm gonna cry. I'm just being I'm being <laughs> honest with you because I think about that video that you posted being in the backyard on the yes. beam that he built for you. <laughs> mm -hmm. And how together y'all were just unwilling to let anything stop you mm -hmm. from becoming the best. Yeah. And what that means you know, mm -hmm. and how that translates into everything else you ever want to do in your life. Yeah, I mean, it definitely taught me that I, I'm not one to give up, and neither is my dad because he's still here. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just such a crazy moment. I just wish that we could have lived it together. But I'm so excited to go home and put that gold medal around his neck because he deserved it as much as I do. Yeah, all three. <laughs> I'll just, just walk in the door. Cling, 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 cling